What's up, everybody? Uh, if you notice, things look a little bit different uh, in front of me. That's because I am moving back to Gainesville tomorrow. The day has finally come. I'm wrapping up this chapter in Naples. Uh, I mean, who knows what's going to happen. I could be back here in about a week. But regardless, packing up now. So this is a video I've been looking forward uh, to making for quite a while now. Uh, I've always seen videos like this on YouTube, and it's always really been interesting to me. For myself, as a fellow YouTube creator uh, who's been in the game for quite a while, even though the channel doesn't really look like it, um, I've been in it for the long run, and this video will kind of be a testament to that. So in today's video, I'm sure you know from the title, but I will be going over kind of the revenue and all of the analytics of my video that just recently hit over 1 million views on YouTube. So you should be able to see my screen on your screen now. Crazy how technology works. Uh, but yeah, you can see here, this video has gotten 1,003,295 views since it was uploaded. So it's definitely pretty cool to say that I have a video that has reached a million views. Sadly, I don't have any other videos that are at a million views for me to compare this one to, uh, at least not yet. Uh, hopefully we can get to that point. But I think this is just going to be kind of interesting for you to see how much a kind of a small YouTube channel for me, just an amateur uh, YouTuber, if that's a term, how much I can make from a video that gets a million views. So the video of mine that got to a million views is how to make any shoes fit. And uh, I can pull it up here. It's pretty cringy uh, right at the beginning. You can definitely see uh, how much I've changed throughout the years. Uh, before I show myself, I just need to put in a... Uh, Disclaimer, this video was made March 13th, 2015. So if my math is correct, that is about five years and six months ago, almost. So that is, you know, pretty significant. That's a, a quarter of my lifetime ago uh, that I uploaded this video. So we'll get into it right here. Oh yeah. I can still do that by the way. Um, but yeah, there's an ad right there. So I'll leave that up on the screen for now. Uh, but yeah, this video was made five years ago. I really didn't think anything of it at the time. I was really making a lot of uh, sneaker focused videos. Uh, some of you guys I'm sure were around back then. I'm sorry you had to go through that. Um, but yeah, I was really focused on making videos about shoes, about sneakers, uh, the whole culture kind of of being a sneakerhead. And so this video, I just, this was a common struggle for me. Um, I would buy a lot of shoes used on eBay or at trade shows. And through these platforms, I might not get uh, the exact size I want just because the shoes would be, you know, in a limited quantity. So you couldn't really always get the size you wanted. And so you'd have to settle uh, for whatever size you could kind of squeeze in uh, just because you really wanted the specific shoe and not necessarily the size. So this was a problem for me. I got a couple of shoes like this. So I was really doing some research uh, to try to figure out how to make the small shoes fit a little bit easier. Uh, the shoes I used in this example um, are the Kobe 9s. Uh, I remember I had those, those were size 10s and I was wearing like an 11 at the time. Um, great basketball shoes. I still wear the lows as a basketball shoe to this day. I definitely draw buckets and in, uh, in intramurals in those. At the time, there really weren't any other YouTube videos on the topic. There might have been some really super basic videos from you know how-to channels, kind of those those videos everyone knows that are just uh, cartoons and that kind of thing. But the content that they provided was completely useless. It just said you know stick a shoehorn in there and it'll it should do the trick. I pretty much scoured the web looking for anything, uh, and when I finally found something, I decided to make a video about it, and here we are today. So now that I've kind of given you a little bit of an overview about the video. Let's finally get into the analytics that you're all here for. So if you guys were paying attention right at the beginning of the video, you already saw kind of the lifetime revenue of it, um, which I will touch back on later for all of you who didn't catch it. Um, but this is just showing the revenue in the last seven days. So about $10, which is, you know, extremely solid $10 a week um, from a video I made five years ago. So. As you can see, it still gets pretty consistent views, 3,000 views in the last seven days. You know, good revenue, It's I can't believe it. Um, but the reason for this, and this will kind of show it a little bit more, the reason it still gets such consistent viewership is that you can see here, all of the tags are right at the top of the chart. So this is kind of a cool thing that I have. Um, it's called TuneBuddy. It's a Chrome extension. 
but you can you can see where your tags rank uh, in the YouTube search. So you can see here how to make small shoes more comfortable. I'm number one. Tight shoes fit. I don't need to explain all of them, but you can see here I'm pretty much number one, or I'm definitely a top ten in every single one. Um, so that makes a really big difference if someone you know looks something up uh, how to make their shoes fit. I made sure to kind of put in any single uh, thing that they could potentially ever search for and I'm right there at the top. So that's kind of why I still generate a lot of revenue and a lot of views uh, from this video that was made five years ago. So now going back to the analytics, uh, for the last month you can see I've made about $40, which is kind of on par for $10 a week, and still 12,000 views in the month. So now we can see the last three months I've made about $120 of revenue. I'm at the point now where in my YouTube analytics, a solid 60% or so comes from this video, which is you know pretty good, but at the same time, I'm very thankful that I have at least 40% of the revenue coming from other videos. A lot of my UF videos do pretty well just because uh, the ads for those can be pretty targeted, um, but no other videos are anywhere close to the amount of views that this has. But yeah, you can just see here, the last 90 days, $120 in revenue, 40,000 views. Uh, extremely consistent, really no growth. Like I've said a couple of other times in this video, uh, this just shows the views every day about, you know, let's say on average 420. Uh, so in the last year, you can kind of see the views went down, watch time, subscribers, all of that went down. So maybe not a good sign, but still made $423 in revenue. Now this is all money that actually is taxed and I put it on my tax return. Uh, so all of this is eligible to go into my Roth IRA. So all of us watching this video are smart. We all know that by retirement, $423, that'll be worth about $100,000. Uh, so definitely putting the money into good use. Now, finally, we are at the lifetime of the video. I've made about $1,750 uh, in total from the video. You can see here, I must have just had an amazing day uh, one day. I don't know if I can really hone in on there. Yeah, I got 3,000 views one day all the way back in, come on. 2016 in february 2016 i got 3,000 views i don't know what happened that day i don't know what the significance of that day is uh, where it just blew up my video um hopefully that can happen again but yeah you can see here you know obviously a million plus views it's this video has gained me over a thousand subscribers uh revenue eighteen hundred dollars great numbers you also can see over here that 60 percent of the views come from youtube search which kind of is a testament to where the video itself ranked uh, in the tags like I showed before. But yeah, you can also see it's still updating live, uh, 900 views in the last 48 hours. And that really has been consistent over the last year. I pretty much check the video every couple of days to see where it is as far as views. But in reality, I'm not expecting anything spectacular from it. I'm just thankful that it is where it is. Okay guys, so that's gonna wrap up the video. You saw how much in total I've made um, from a video that has over a million views. The total revenue is just about 1750. Uh, so in reality, that's not you know too impressive, um, but it does make sense because the uh, because the cost per thousand views for this video, at least for advertisers, is a buck seventy five. Uh, so that actually adds up perfectly. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I've really been looking forward to making it for a while. Uh, but obviously, I was waiting for it to get to a million views. Uh, so that only happened about a week ago. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you at least learned something. I can at least appreciate how far I've come in those last five years. If you guys have any questions at all, reach out to me on Instagram right here. And uh, yeah, I'm heading back to Gainesville tomorrow. So expect to see uh, some more Gainesville videos, some UF videos. Uh, we'll see what I can get around to. But hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.